What's up guys, Mark from Beyond The Real here and today I want to talk about Mayan Season 3 Episode 6. It's kind of hard for me to keep watching each week. It's, it seems like each episode is going slower and slower. Yes, there are good moments in the episode, but I just can't f seem to find that enjoyment that I had with Sons of Anarchy. Because in Sons of Anarchy, uh, I believe in Season 3, they were in Belfast. And there, you know, there was a lot of things going on with Gemma, uh, with Tara. There was a lot of things going on with the Sons during that time. And I know this is years later, but it seems like this show is you know what bishop said to alvarez it it's dead <laughs> you know it, it feels like it's dead because bishop tells alvarez you know it feels like this town is fucking dead and that's what it feels like and it kind of sucks that i'm i'm saying that because i'm trying to find enjoyment and i, I find enjoyments in little bitty parts that like this episode each scene was dialogue yes you know i i love dialogue but when, when there's nothing going on in each part of each scene it, it kind of takes me out of it and seeing the parts that I enjoyed of this episode the most were uh, Angel you know confronting Nestor and seeing that I actually like that I felt the intensity between that because I know Angel is going to defend his brother and he want now he he wants to go to war because they tried to kill his brother. I mean, what do you, what do you expect them to do? I actually felt that, and I felt that to be, you know, you know, genuine. It didn't feel fake. Like the beginning of the episode when we see Gabby when she takes Easy to the hospital, it seems like the doctors don't give a shit. It seems like Gabby's phoning in on the, uh, the acting. I guess the crying part of it. You know, I'm I'm not saying you know I would do a better job as a, a like being an actor crying or anything like that but i can only observe it from what i see it felt like she was just phoning it in and the same thing with the doctors there it's like i would think more i would think you know doctors will be more uh would ha, well, i don't know i'm trying to figure out the word they would they would just try to go and show like they care i guess they would show try to show more emotion towards someone getting shot and they didn't even do that so i actually felt like that was kind of a mistake on their part it just felt like a lot of characters in this show some of the acting is either over the top or some of it's not good at all and that that can go for even easy because easy his acting is sometimes it's top notch and then sometimes it's like why you you know uh like all his scenes in this episode is just can I take you here I want to take you to the beach and then she ta he takes her to the beach and he's just there they have sex on the beach and that's all we really get from Easy and I really want to see more uh, of his character develop it just seems like he's kind of taking a back seat because it seems like more uh, Bishop's getting more of a storyline this season which is from his son and his wife his son died and he's grieving with that because in this episode is the day that he died so we actually get to see the wife get there but she's there with also with her own you know agenda she wants to have the mortgage paper signed because she's gonna end up leaving and you know Bishop doesn't end up taking that well he doesn't take the conversation with uh, Alvarez well either he's telling him you're not a mine anymore you don't have any say so in what I do which it is true you know Alvarez gave that up but you know I Alvarez still has those ties and you you can't cross the man that curated what you are and Bishop is crossing that line so I feel like Bishop is going to be in the hot seat and hopefully I, I want to see his character grow but it seems like how Alvarez said he picked the other two kings because they were smart and Bishop he's not smart he's seen he's making you know rash decisions at a moment's notice without thinking about the consequences and we see that at the end of the episode when uh, after talking to his wife or his, I guess his ex-wife, uh, he's very upset. So the two guys that were released from the hospital that uh, ended up going to shoot Easy or trying to kill Easy, uh, they're gone. Nestor and the other guy are with them, trailing behind them. And Angel and Creeper end up going to kill both those guys because on Bishop's orders. And Nestor... He's like, you know, we can't really do nothing today, but they're going to do something. You know, like how he said, Angel, you have a big mouth. You open your mouth way too much and he's going to pay for that. And like stuff like that, like I guess the stuff with Angel in the episode, I really did enjoy because it seems like his 
his character is real, unlike others. Like the stuff with Coco, I, I I'm really not buying into that. You know, the whole Med Mountain thing. It's it's weird. I'm not feeling it. I really don't care for the story. I wish Coco was, you know, more involved in the club. I wish Bishop kept track of his guys even more. It seems like he can't even do that. So it just there's there's just a lot of things going on in this series that don't need to be going on. Same thing with Adelita. We see her again finding the person she was looking for, the little girl named Mimi. And I I don't really want to see that. I want to see the you know the minds versus minds, the minds versus sons, because that's I'm pretty sure that's what all of us want to see. We want to see more of that, not more of everybody's stories, not uh, Galindo and you know the his mistress story. I don't care about any of that. I just want to see you know Easy be the badass that he is, go and take out who he needs to take out, like Jax did. That's what we need. And Charlie Hunnam is not even as that strong of an actor, but in that series he was damn good. And easy, he's not showing me that yet, and it's already season three, so I'm hoping that you know in the coming episodes we see more. I really do, and same for Coco. I want to see him grow. I, I I really do. I really do. Angel, same thing. I want to see all of them there at the end, and I'm pretty sure one of maybe one or two out of the, that group that I just mentioned are going to die. I just I want more from this series, and it seems like this episode. It just felt like it dragged, and I want to I want to see more. So hopefully, in episode seven, we get to see uh, the mind versus mind minds. We get to see more Alvarez. Maybe if Galindo gets involved with Alvarez, or Galindo gets involved with uh, the minds and helps the minds take out Alvarez, or some something like that. Give me something. I I really hope the next episode is great because I love minds. I like the first two seasons; they were great. But season three is has been letting me down episode by episode. So hopefully we see more of a better outcome coming up soon. So sorry guys if I disappointed you on my review for it, but that's just my thoughts on it. I just wanna, you know, share it with you and I don't wanna just phone it in and just say, oh yeah, this is a good show. No, I don't wanna just phone it in. So that's my review for it. If Hopefully you guys, <laughs> hopefully you guys enjoyed it, cause I enjoy talking about it with you guys. I do enjoy uh, talking about movies, talking about series, TV series, everything. And soon I'll be talking about video games. So hopefully you guys, you know, are coming out and checking out the content that me and Alex are putting out. And I'm going to continue to uh, review minds all the way until the end, no matter what. So just keep coming back and checking back, guys. So yeah, that's my review for Minds episode six. Make sure you subscribe, make sure you hit that like button, and come back and check back for more.